Hello everyone, myself Dr. Aditya Gupta. This time, in this video, I wanted to talk about the problem with medicine. And this video is directed at every NEET UG aspirant, every NEET PG aspirant, and every person who has just cleared NEET PG and is going to join residency. We have a problem in medicine. There is too much toxicity in medicine, and that's not just limited to India. It's there in US. Dr. Glockomifican keeps on making videos about that. It's there in UK. It's there in Europe. Hamare saath, there is a problem with medicine that's called as toxicity. Our residency is inhuman, there are long working hours, there is poor pay, but most importantly, doctors are the worst enemies of doctors. Abhi Yavatwal Medical College, mein, right now, today this incident came to light, there was a, uh, in Yavatwal Medical College in uh, Maharashtra, there was a resident, a GR1, first year resident in surgery, who was subjected to such inhuman torture, something you won't even do to your worst of your enemies, yaar. And he was actually a junior. Tha. They made him, the GR3, which is only two years senior, hai, by the way. What kind of torture they made you do? They did not allow you to go to the hostels. It's not like he was very calm in the ward. Tha. The ward work used to probably get over by 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock in the night. They could have allowed him to go to the hostel to sleep for 4, 5, 6 or whatever amount. No. They did not even allow him to go to the hostel. So much that people did not, he did not bathe, did not take a bath for ages did not take a bath for weeks and months at end so much so he developed cellulitis they used to make him work up you know make him them stay in the ward come to ward back at three o'clock just to do torture just to do them some give them some menial work which they had to do and while doing that work which was not necessary by the way if they by chance dozed off i mean who can who won't doze out at three o'clock in the night they used to throw water on him or pull his hair at the same point of time these people did not even spare food from it, yaar. They did not even feed him. Instead, the money that they were spending on their canteen and everything, they used to take that money from that person. And with all this also, he's doing surgery. They did not allow him to go into the operation theater itself. The person who developed varicose vein and cellulitis needed operation. This is the kind of torture that is being done in Indian medical colleges. And this is the kind of thing which has been going on for ages. And people have been accepting of it. And people even justify it, for God's sake. You know that people justify it saying it makes you tougher somehow. And people say that it's okay if it's happening for 2-3 years. Ki to baat hai. What the hell? Doctors are the worst enemies of the doctors. I've been saying this for multiple times and I say this to every new 2G aspirant. If you are glamour and money, I've told you in my videos, mein hai. forget every bloody neat YouTuber or uh, you know, uh, influencer. MBBS must have no doubt about that, but residency is hell in India. For most places, residency is hell in India. Glamour or paise ke liye, please, if you think paisa hi paisa hoga, don't join medicine. You'll be in for a root shock. MBBS na karo, engineering kar lo, MBA kar lo, whatever you want to do, you can do, but don't do MBBS. Do it only for the passion. And for the neat PG aspirants or someone who's going to join right now, please, please don't be a dick. When you yourself become second and third year, Please ensure that this toxic culture does not pass down. Hummy, we only can be the change that we desire. Be that senior that you yourself wanted in your first year. This is my only request to everyone who is watching this video right now. You know, that we are the biggest enemies of our doctors. And we can change this thing. And I wish the strongest of the criminal action is taken against these people who are doing ragging of their first year uh, resident. Thank you and have a nice day.